Welcome back to our poetry unit. So far, we've discussed what is poetry? What would I like to write poems about? How can we use poems to share life lessons or themes? How can we use what we've learned to write our first poems? Today, we'll ask ourselves, how do sensory details create a picture in the reader's mind? Sensory details are words that appeal to your five senses. The five senses are taste, hearing, sight, smell, and touch. Writers use sensory details in their poems to help readers experience what the reader is trying to describe. Let's go over how to complete today's lesson. If you're on your phone, click the three dots in the top right corner and go to print layout. If you're on the computer, fit the document to your screen. Make sure you read the learning goals and the learning schedule. You're almost done with our video introduction. For your writing warm-up, you're going to practice using your five senses to describe. Choose a picture and think about the ways a writer could describe the setting for a reader. Think about what you could see, hear, touch, smell, or taste. Delete this sentence and write your description of one of these pictures here. Next, you're going to read the poem Good Hot Dogs by Sandra Cesirnos. You can read the poem by clicking here, or if you prefer to listen, click here and press play to hear the poem read aloud. As you read, listen and think about how the poet is appealing to all five of the senses. Fill in this chart below with text evidence from the poem. For example, examples of seeing are swinging my legs or french fries piled on top. Next, think about how the sensory details from the poem helped create a picture in your mind. Describe what you pictured as you read this poem. For your reflection questions, think about questions you still have about the poem, and then summarize the poem. In your own words, what is the poem Good Hot Dogs all about? How do you know? Finally, reflect on your learning, reading the learning targets, and rating yourself from one to four. If there's anything you need to share with your teacher, write it here, and don't forget to click Mark is Done or Turn In when you're finished.